right, y'all. Well, in uh, completing 34 solar cycles, I figure I'll give you guys a little uh, uh, insight into my, I guess, physical transformation. Can't really give you my mental one per se. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a video later. Um, <clears throat> the story of how my mind transitioned, but for this one, we'll just look at the body. So, first, we'll start with me and my daddy. Look at me, look at them nuts. You like that? Child pornography. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where my parents, you know, immigrants from Mexico and, uh, yeah, you know, Chicago, shitty apartment, whatever, you know. That's me and my little, uh, uh, I think uh, it's a Cubs uniform, I think, you know. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to be when I was little was a uh, was a, uh, a baseball player. That's me, you know, before, before you'll see, before I got basically fat, you know. A little pimp me with my little Oshkosh Badash, whatever the fuck, uh, overalls, you know, pimping it. My oldest sister's birthday, and her friends, I don't even know. Me and my older sister, she came carrying me butt naked with my little <laughs> leather shoes on or whatever these are. <laughs> uh, funny, right? There I am again, you know, little young skinny me. You know, I think this was second grade, you know, my nerdy glasses. That's when I, I guess, first got them. Look at them teeth. Nice. <laughs> nice and white. Uh, this is high school. I don't forgot what year I blurred out all of this fucking thing. But, you know, I'm so dark, can't even tell. But you can see I colored my hair. I was trying to get it uh, white, white, but it never worked out. I guess I never left it on long enough. I don't know. Whatever. You know, high school experimentation. This, I guess, when I started losing a little bit of weight, I guess. I don't know what year was that. Maybe I don't know, sophomore year. I don't know. Uh, it's another one I had this real badass, cool Native American ne necklace that I made. I don't, I don't know where my senior picture is. I don't know. I think I lost it. I don't, I don't have. I hate to carry my yearbooks around for quite a while. And I'm just like, ah, fuck it. Threw them away. I should have took a pictures of all the signatures. Cause you know, signature basically shows how popular you are and whatnot. So, uh, anyways, yeah, this is probably like. I don't know, middle school, man of family's house, and they just had a baby or whatever, so, so as you can see, I look, I look pretty Indian-ish, right? I mean, everybody, for the most part, uh, doesn't know, well, some guess it right, but very rare, but people don't know whether I'm Indian, Middle Eastern, or Filipino, so, but, uh, yeah, this is me in high school, R.I.P. Jim Tracy, <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> that guy was hilarious, man. He was an example of what wealth sometimes is a tragedy. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna get into it. But yeah, that's one picture of me in high school eating the Reese's Pieces dog. Uh, I think this is middle school. As you can see, I'm pretty, pretty big. This is the family: sister, dad, grandpa. Mom and sister, Niagara Falls. As you can see, I'm pretty, uh, pretty uh, husky. Pretty, pretty big. And look at this frumpy me. I would call this frumpy, frumpy me. <laughs> yep. Classical, uh, overweight nerd. I guess. I guess I wasn't really a nerd in a sense. I wasn't really smart <laughs> in a sense. Uh, I just didn't. Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't want to apply myself. I guess. And nothing really interested me until I saw the Hackers movie. So this is my dad, and my grandpa, and me. You know, so th three generations basically right here. Uh, another one. I don't know where we're at here. Somewhere in Florida, maybe or something. But. Yeah, as you can see, you know, I mean, I, I think we all can look back and none of us will, in a sense, will approve of how we looked back in the past, but, you know, that's cool, whatever, you know, time, time moves forward, everything changes, people change, as you will see, how I change. Yep, Quest for Quality, <laughs> my dad's company shirt that I just used with him, that's my cousin. Oh, I forgot to show you another picture, but yeah, in a sense, my family, you know, most of my family, I'm my mom, my dad's side, they're all basically overweight, so, yeah, the point of this is also, you know, to show you, uh, that, um, genetics is not something to use an as an excuse for, for lack of health, alright, so, that's it for the before me, alright, and now, the, uh, future me, well, this is pretty recent, I took it, 
uh, with my uh, security camera that I bought. Some of you saw the video, maybe some of you didn't. But, um... Let's, let's go. Oh, damn it, it went forward. Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn it, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, we'll go, we'll get back to that, so... Not that I wasn't trying to show you that, it's just, you'll see. So, anyways, yep. So, obviously pretty fit, pretty strong. Really strong, not just strength, but agility and balance. If you guys only saw, if you guys, some of you saw my breakdance video. And I'm only getting better. Uh, only getting better. Oh, uh, sore from the gym. <laughs> so I don't go to the gym. I got a new video coming up, so prepare for that one. So I'm getting, I'm only getting better. More fearless. As serious as I am, as I tell people whether they understand or not, I'm only competing with me. I, I, or if you guys ever read the Conversation with God book, there's a difference between being envious and jealous. So the people that I see online doing some cool shit, yeah, I, I may be envious, but never jealous. So envious likes to copy and and and, and push themselves to to emulate that, and jealousy tries to destroy, you know, harm those that that have the so-called. You know, advantage over you, or whatever, or a better life than you, or you think, you, you think, you, or you imagine that they're better than you. you see, there, because in the reality, there is no, there really is none of that. You know, there's only difference. That's all there is. There is no better or worse. There's only different. At the end of the day. But as part of the illusion for life, you know, there has to be gradients and all that stuff. I'm not gonna get into the philosophical side. Anyways, whatever. So, this is when I was. uh I think at about 11% body fat, um, I was having difficulties uh, gaining weight because I got, had an injury. So again, physical appearance, can, don't always judge them by physical appearance, but yeah, I mean, the injury, how to explain this, the injury comes would, would come on and off, but it was very hard for a while to gain weight. Until after I actually, uh, well, I don't know what came first, whether it was my ex uh, feeding me more protein, animal protein, or I don't know what. But as you can see here, I did gain weight eventually. But also, it wasn't just because of her. Um, this is before I. This is when I went to Oregon and I was uh, scoping things out to find a place to live and everything, about, and, 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 the, and the commercial building and all this other stuff. So, but yeah, uh, prior to that, yeah, I was applying for the Illinois Medical uh, Cannabis Program, and yeah, I got in a rut because uh, I had to. I just fucking crunch. I had a crunch of it. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> Woo! I don't even know if I can think about it, but as you can see, it got out of shape, you know, so my usual preferred white t-shirts weren't looking too well on me, so, and then so I'll, here I'm just going to show you guys uh, how I look before I groom, yes, I groom, I do it in respect, in just respect for women, you know, if they, if they take the time to groom themselves, now of course some of them just go extreme, you know, I, I, I don't like that either, but hey, you know, if they're going to take the time to groom themselves, shave themselves, I want, I want to give them some eye candy too or whatever and just playing here with, with myself and shit. So there's my robo cut. That's how I cut my hair. I don't trust anybody to cut my hair. And I just buzz. I never shave. Shaving sucks. So anyways, yep. And I, I started a, a, a picture log of my face and body more or less just so I could see over time, you know. I, I'm not consistent with it. And I have a reminder on my phone, which I'll show you guys all of my... Uh, you know all of my uh, uh, organizational discipline secrets and shit like that because uh, I am lazy the reason I do this stuff is because I'm lazy <laughs> ironically people say oh man you're so disciplined and blah blah blah, blah. I'm like uh, I'm lazy man so this is another one I, I took for, uh, for for one of my buddies at work uh, and I sent it to him as a joke uh, yeah, I'm just drenched in sweat. I mean, you, I mean, if it wasn't for the dark pants, I mean, you could sort of see it in, in the shirt. But yeah, in the summer times, I basically wear tank tops. Um, yeah, some could say it's for showing off my muscles, but also it's like I, I would, you know, if I could walk around with my underwear, I would. Uh, but in certain cases, not practical. So if it's really hot, I try to wear it the least as possible. So shorts and a tank top. You know, again. I seem to generate quite a bit of heat, and uh, also it's hot. Fuck it, I don't want to be wearing some fucking shirt or whatever. And of course, you know, hey, I don't mind getting eye fucked. Sexualize me, bitches. What you want? What you want? What you need, girl? <laughs> See, we we've bastardized and condemned 
not only male sexuality, but sexuality, period. You know? I guess you can say this whole condemning of male sexuality is, is, is the karma for males kind of condemning women's sexuality and desires. But again, there's there's definitely different standards and the and the economy and the social structure, all that has an, inter, has an interplay into, as to why, you know, uh, females can't be as liberal with sex as men. You know, there's just many, there's biological and also cultural uh, reasons, so... Yeah, this is again when I was uh, at a very low body fat. Now I'm at 17, last I checked. And uh, I got the scale that I want to upgrade to another scale um, that uh, that logs everything on a smart app. So it's kind of, you know, it, Bluetooth, it con uh, communicates with your, food, you know, yeah, your phone, Bluetooth, and saves all that information. Whereas now I got to take a picture every day and then, you know, unload it from my phone and all this other shit. So that, that new scale streamlines everything. So measures body mass, sorry, uh, body fat, bone mass, muscle mass, and, 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 and water uh, mass, I guess. I think that's what we call it, water mass. So. And then this one that basically I, I blurted it out more right here. Uh, because this is this almost got me kicked off of Facebook. They left another one where I took a screenshot of it, you know, being like, "What the fuck? Why are they blocking this one and, and all the other one?" You know, and I've seen worse of women as me. It's fucking crazy, you know. So, but how how this one came about? My first ever dick pic, I guess, was because of this cute girl, which I will make a video again of my ex and and these other flaky ass women I had to deal with and why, you know, again. I can't deny my experience, you know, I'm not going to deny my experience of women, and, and, I, and I get it, they, they, they've been, they, they, they don't know how to think for themselves, and they're usually very susceptible to TV programming, social pressures and shit like that, they just can't go against, against it, you know, for, for, you can say, biological survival reasons, you know, they, yeah, you can say, it, you can blame it on evolution, but to me, I don't care, that's not an excuse like this, I can blame my genetics, my family, oh, my, oh, my dad, my sisters, look, everybody's fat, so I have to be fat, it's like, no, you are your own, you are your own <clears throat> creator of your own world, you know, and then, and then you get these people with the you know, astrology and all the other crap, just get the fuck out of here, man. You have free will. Astrology just give you know is a sign of the propensities that you may you may fall into for the most part. But it's also like okay, well the Chinese have their own, the Indi the you know East Indians have their own. I mean, the Greeks have their. I mean, just it's it's it's, it's worthless. Just focus on the highest vision of yourself you, you can imagine and go for it. You know. So, anyways, this this girl, which I'll show in the video, you know talks about how, you know, men shouldn't ask her for nudes and blah, 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 and this and that, so, you know, whatever, and that's not me anyways, you know, you, you can say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good guy or a nice guy that finishes last or whatever the fuck, but, as, as Jordan Peterson, uh, that guy's making, he's becoming pretty famous on, on, uh, Facebook, uh, sorry, on YouTube, you know, uh, he elo he eloquently articulates um, yeah a lot of the stuff that, that that I have come to realize about you know what so what is it to be nice and all this other stuff and then the, a healthy dose of you could say uh, for lack of a better word I guess evil or being a bad person whatever the fuck anyways the point is I never said anything to the girl I played it cool because again too so much bullshit in the dating world. You know, especially through the online apps, and I don't have the time to go out to the bars, whatever. And that's not me either. You know, that's that's another thing about, you know, yeah, I just, it's just stupid. I hate the whole egotist ego ego that has to go in, into into the bar, and women and men. You know, men have to be very confident, and you know, also women are just like, eh, fuck you, you know. Or even if if you're a threat to them, sometimes they're like they're gonna pretend like you know they don't like you, whether they you know they want you, but. They're so scared to be, you know, emotionally hurt. It's like, come on, now, get over that. You just, you know, again, just wallowing in your own pity. It's just not me. You know, I'm no excuses, no bullshit. I'm that's the kind of person I am, and I don't want to deal with any woman like that. And it seems like this this culture that the Hollywood has created of victimhood, and and some men follow it too. Uh, uh that ain't me. So, anyways, I never asked her for a damn picture. And all of a sudden, she starts flirting or whatever, you know, and <clears throat> she straight up sends me a, a, a straight up shot of her fucking badge split open, and 
you know, and a bunch of other sexually whatever, and so, you know, I reciprocated, you know, so this is the one I sent her, so, anyways, long story short, she flaked, she ghosted me, I don't even know, it's funny because the, the, the night before, you know, we met up, had a great time, oh yeah, then the day before, we, after that, we met up, whatever, uh, and we kissed a little bit, or whatever. She drove me home because <clears throat> my Jeep was in the, in the in the dealership, or whatever. But anyways, so as you can see, um, yeah, you have the ability to transform yourself if you have the discipline. All right. So I don't know what else I wanted to talk talk about. There's always so many things, and I kind of just wanted to make this kind of short. So. Happy birthday to me! <laughs> and now we'll go to uh, uh, the video later. Yo, I'm finished to tell you how it is in the hood. See, because in the hood, everybody's a target. <laughs> nah, I ain't like that. I'm going to tell you the real deal what it goes on in the hood. See, in the hood, most of us won't reach the age of 21. Happy birthday, homie. For me? Yeah. Happy birthday, homeboy. For me? Yeah. Make a wish. <laughs> no, Lord, no, Lord, no, no, baby. I know you didn't do me wrong. Oh, I know he doesn't say nothing. Oh, my junior. I never do my things, Lord, no. Yo, 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 this ain't your baby, this ain't your baby. Hey, that's some shit.